Shonda Pierce is one of my very favorite comedians. And she is one of my favorite people. I just love her. She has been doing stand-up for over two decades and has rightfully earned for herself the nickname of the Queen of Clean. We are always excited to have her here and thrilled to have her back. Please give a big welcome to my good friend, comedian Shonda Pierce. Yeah, I thought I was going to be late. I had Father McPherson at my house because we did an exorcism on the TV today because the Grammys were on last night. <laughs> I'm telling you, and I wish I could think of something funny to say about it. It was just terrible. But I got all the demons out of my house. But it's because I adopted Ralphie, so... <laughs> I might, might, I might have more luck with Ralphie than I will a date. <laughs> Y'all, I've been online again trying it for the second time because I lost like three pounds. <laughs> and I could get on again. Maybe people wouldn't know who I was before. <laughs> and, you know, and I had a new wig. That helped <laughs> for a while. And then I got on the line. Thing. This is the thing. I signed up for plenty of fish because I'm cheap. And the men on there are pretty cheap. Uh, and I built a new house, and I have a lake. So I thought, well, y'all find me somebody that likes to fish. Did you know Plenty of Fish, the dating site, has nothing to do with fishing? <laughs> you can't put stuff on the internet, y'all. What is wrong with you? Don't take stupid pictures. And, I, and that even means Facebook. Girls, come on. I don't want to see your cleavage and your macaroni and cheese. I am so tired. <laughs> I am so tired of excellent cooks in skinny waist, and they spend all day fixing that photograph. And if you put it out there, it never goes away. That's what they say. That picture is in the basement of Hillary Clinton's house right now. <laughs> it's probably the screensaver on Hunter Biden's laptop. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so I moved out to the country. I built a house. It was so wonderful, but the construction guy, he went way over budget, which means we had to raise the debt ceiling. <laughs> I know. And then my liberal snowflake son moved home because he liked to have his own room. Wasn't that precious? <laughs> and it's free. So every time I fix him lunch, I cut 30% out of his food <laughs> and eat it myself. <laughs> it's just the craziest times we're living in. People ask me all the time, how do you stay being funny, you know, because of all the troubling things that's going on in the world. I said, well, all I do is watch Huckabee and steal his material. <laughs> I go to church, hear something from the preacher, and then talk about him the next weekend. That's what you do as Christians. It's the Christian way. We don't gossip, we share. <laughs> Some people call it prayer requests, but we know what it is. And I learned that from my daddy. I was a preacher's kid, which would explain my career. 31 years I've been trying to make people funny, and now I'm trying to retire. <laughs> people keep buying tickets. Stop. <laughs> I need to stay home with Ralphie. <laughs> Maybe he'll eat my son. be a really sick show. <laughs> no, but really, I love my roots as growing up a preacher's kid because funny things would happen, you just can't get over it. You know, in our church now, we, we were, you know, we were very conservative, hair up, skirt down. That's the whole church motto that I grew up in. I even got my little Pentecostal do on tonight just in case, you know, trying to be all things for all people. <laughs> I got on Baptist drawers and, <laughs> well, there depends, but it's close. <laughs> going to wear it depends, but I was in such a hurry, I was so afraid, you know, when you walk and laugh and run at the same time. <laughs> at my age, you need depends. <laughs> Y'all are a wonderful audience. It's always good to see you. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. 
If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.